Grade 11, English. Unit 5. Travel in Southeast Asia 1. Southeast Asia has long been a favorite for travelers with various interests as they can explore vivid and diverse cultures, traditions, languages, lifestyles, fashions, beliefs and customs in ASEAN countries. Among these, the following are descriptions of the top tourist attractions of five ASEAN countries, Brunei Darussalam, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos and Malaysia. Brunei Darussalam Brunei Darussalam is a country which comprises two enclaves on the northwest coast of the island of Borneo. It is known for its beaches and biodiverse rainforests. Bandar Seri Begawan, the capital of Brunei Darussalam, has many sites to offer. Jame As Hassanul Bolkiah Mosque, the largest mosque in Brunei, is certainly an impressive building because the complex is adorned with 29 golden domes. The Omar Ali Sefadin Mosque with its striking image also offers a magnificent view surrounded by an artificial lagoon. The Omar Ali Sefadin Mosque overlooks the Brunei River and Kampong Ayer. The centuries-old Kampong Ayer, the historical floating village, consists of more than 40 smaller settlements on stilts over the Brunei River. The floating villages are interconnected with wooden bridges and walkways. The best way to experience the daily life of local villagers is taking a river cruise. At the Brunei Museum, located near Bunda Seri Begawan, fine examples of bronze and brassware, along with fascinating displays of Chinese ceramics and jade, can be seen. The History Gallery in the museum displays the history of Southeast Asia with relevance to Brunei. The Sultan's Palace lies a short drive from the city centre featuring as a favourite stop for day trippers, it gives visitors an idea of the Sultan's wealth. His collection of gifts can be seen at the Royal Regalia Museum, from a giant chariot used in his silver jubilee to countless jewels and gold. The museum is free to visitors, offering a glimpse into the luxurious lifestyle of a sultan. Cambodia The Kingdom of Cambodia occupies part of the Indochina Peninsula in Southeast Asia. Spanning more than 4.4 million hectares in southwestern Cambodia, the Cardamom Mountains remain Southeast Asia's largest rainforest. Inhabited by a swathe of endangered wildlife, the expansive woodland is also home to about 25,000 people. There is plenty to see in Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia, the Silver Pagoda, the National Museum, Independence Monument, Wat Phnom and the marketplaces where handwoven silks, silver, gems, carvings, paintings and even antiques can be seen. Indeed, Phnom Penh is an ideal destination for a leisurely day tour. Located within the Royal Palace compound, the Silver Pagoda is so named because of its floor, which is made up of 5,000 silver tiles. The walls surrounding the compound are covered with frescoes depicting episodes from the Khmer version of the Ramayana, the Rimka. The National Museum, located just north of the Royal Palace, represents the finest of Phnom Penh's architecture. On display inside are more than 5,000 works of art, ranging from the 6th to the 13th century. Phnom Penh is also the gateway to an exotic land, Angkor Wat, the World Heritage Site, where the largest religious complex in the world is situated. Unlike all the other Khmer temples, Angkor Wat faces west. The five central towers of Angkor Wat symbolize the peaks of Mount Menu, which according to Hindu mythology, is the dwelling place of the gods. Indonesia Indonesia is a land of surprises, featuring the rich culture and arts of its people amidst the sandy beaches and cool mountains. The volcanoes in Indonesia are among the most active in the world. Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia on the northwest coast of Java, is a place where industries like textiles, chemicals, plastics, etc. are concentrated. Borobudu in Java is a must-visit attraction because it is the world's biggest Buddhist temple and regarded as one of the top UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Built during the 8th century, this temple is a reflection of the country's long and intricate history that covers religion, 
culture, customs, and architecture. Near Borobudu is Yogyakarta, an old Javanese city known for its rich cultural and historical offerings. Yogyakarta is famous for its festivals, royal ceremonies, batik and silverwork and the Sultan's palaces, which are proof of its heritage. In Western Sumatra, one can find Komodo National Park, Indonesia's largest national park, in the region of Karincha Seablat. With its rich variety of animal species and plants, it is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It encompasses three main islands and the waters off these islands are rich in landscapes and the most diverse in marine life. Visitors can hike, snorkel, go canoeing, or visit small villages on the islands. Pink Beach on Komodo Island is one of the top beaches in Indonesia and is famous for the stretch of pink sand. Laos Situated in the Suvarnathum Peninsula, Laos covers about 236,800 square kilometers. It is the only landlocked country in Southeast Asia. It is blessed with incredible views and diverse terrains and thus, visitors can enjoy mountain, cave and water adventures all year round. Laos comprises many ethnic groups, each minority group having its own tradition and beautiful culture. Vientiane, the capital of Laos, is situated on a plain just northeast of the Mekong River. Not far from Vientiane is the Plain of Jars, which is dotted with ancient burial jars from a forgotten civilization. The most popular place to visit in Laos is Luang Prabang, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It once served as the capital of the Kingdom of Laos. Visitors can also visit the glorious Kuang Sai Falls, a multi-level waterfall with multiple fast-flowing pools. In addition to pagodas and historical sites, the famous Wat Sisakit Temple with its big Buddha image, the old Ho Tai Library whose walls are covered with sapphires, and wall paintings are well worth seeing. Wat Sisakit features over 10,000 Buddha sculptures of varying sizes and styles. The most sacred monument in the country is that Luang, or the Great Stupa. It is a national symbol and is even on Laos' official seal. From the outside, that Luang looks more like a fortress surrounded by high walls and it features two temples along with the impressive 45-meter tall stupa, the top of which is covered with gold leaves. Malaysia Malaysia is separated into two sections by the South China Sea. Peninsula Malaysia links with Thailand on the mainland of Asia, while East Malaysia comprises the states of Sabah and Sarawak. Visitors must not miss Kuala Lumpur or KL, the capital, with its many sites to keep the tourists occupied, as well as its excellent shopping facilities. The Petronas Twin Towers located in the heart of KL are among the tallest buildings in the world. These twin wonders contain a complex of office buildings, conference halls, a sprawling 50-acre park and an upmarket shopping complex. The buildings are joined at the 41st and the 42nd floor by a 58-metre-long double-decker skybridge. Second to KL in size are the historic trading cities of Malacca and Penang where visitors can breathe in the romance of the past. Malacca, the capital of Malacca State, and Georgetown, Penang's capital, have been listed as UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Sites since 2008 due to their well-preserved heritage buildings. Malacca attracts visitors with its architecture, food, and famous Jonka Street Night Market while Penang, with a fascinating fusion of Eastern and Western influences, is Malaysia's most tourist-visited destination. The Batik Painting Museum in Penang showcases the earliest Batik paintings done in the 1950s. Malaysia is famous for its pleasant beach resorts, Langkawi, Panka, Tayoman Island, Damai Beach in Sarawak, and again, Penang. Each of these offers water sports of all kinds as well as snorkeling and scuba diving around the numerous coral reefs that line Malaysia's shore.